What's up everyone? Long time no see. If you can tell by the name of this video, I'm about to be installing today some low life project lower control extensions or ball joint extensions. And I got some extended tie rods. Everything in the front is all loosened up so then I can get to the ball joint that's underneath the axle and everything. So I'm gonna end up taking more parts off than I actually need to to get to the ball joint just so it makes it a little bit easier and to see in the video and stuff. So like I was saying, it's not necessary to take off the rotor or the brake or anything, but it makes life a little bit easier as you can see. So you can see the ball joints right there. So it makes it a little bit easier to get to and access and then frees up a little bit of the weight on the suspension because I already did loosen everything to be able to take the axle out a little bit so then I have room to get to the ball joint. Don't judge my cuts right now. Uh, test fitted the Acura TL Type S Brembos so then I can make sure that they fit and everything. I still got to clean up this and then I still got to do the other side. That will be coming soon. I'm going to continue taking things apart. Ooh. Everything's all out of the way. Took the bolts back off of these or the nuts. So I can get to the ball joint, but I set it in place didn't take the castle nut all the way off So then I can use this tool that I got from Harbor Freight. This like ball uh, no, no, This like little ball joint extractor Just so it makes it easier to see All right, so I got the ball joint out so the one thing that they asked you to do and you can see is they give you new hardware. So what I have to do is knock out these studs to replace it with these, and then these ones that don't have nuts on them, just if I can put it into the hole. All right. And then these extensions, just push. I'm gonna knock these studs out by using a socket, setting it right on top, just like this, and then hammering them out. Right. As you can see, grab some hardware. Uh, they also supply you with these like little spacers. Uh, I'm not too sure if I'm gonna use them or not, probably won't I'm gonna look and see what they look like on the control arm before putting anything on but I'll grab three just to be safe so I got it in but it's only hand tightened for the most part just so you can see an example of what it looks like when it's sitting in uh, you can see, if I grab the other plate real fast, the way that it sits on there is three holes go to the lower control arm, these other holes and this slotted one goes to the ball joint, and you can see we placed all the hardware and everything. Everything right now is just hand tightened so you can kind of see the three different holes of adjustability. I wasn't too sure on where to put it. so. I decided just to full send it, put it at the end and see what it looks like. I might have busted my ball joint, I'm not 100% sure, but for the time being I'll keep it in and then I can buy a new one and change it after. So granted that everything is not locked down, it's just hand tightened and kind of just pushed. It's kind of hard to tell in the front. It kind of looks the same, it's hard to tell. little bit of a better angle it's hard to tell at the moment uh, I'm gonna open the garage so I can see if I can get a better view definitely I can tell from looking from the other side to this um, I'm gonna put the back wheel on too just so I can see all right so I can definitely see it now from the front to the back I'm 
little tilties and then some big tilties. So it definitely looks like the front has more. Also, things aren't bolted down or anything, so it makes it kind of difficult to tell for 100%. So I just took the extension back off again, and I'm going to put these spacers back in, so then I can actually move it back to the second hole, or the middle hole, and then I'll be able to put this nut up, or this bowl up, and not have any worries, just because the tie rod even though it was extended, I didn't have as much camber as I thought I did originally to be able to fit all the way to the last hole and be able to be perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go to the second hole so I have a little bit more of a tie rod because I definitely don't want it on the end of these threads at all. You can see the original one compared to the new one with the extension. I'm not 100% sure, it's close to about an inch or about three quarters of an inch. So I put the spacers on as you can see and I moved it to the second hole instead of being at the very end and hopefully now the tie rod will actually have enough room. All right. So I'm not gonna snug down the tie rod at all just because it's gonna end up having to be adjusted anyways right now. Uh, I'm just setting everything up hand tighten for the most part put this brake line back on switching it definitely made it easier for the tie rod to go on i thought i had a lot more camber than what i naturally actually had or i shouldn't say naturally but from slotting my strut and also with the camber plate maxed out and using smaller bolt to be able to get a little bit more camber in the back so you can see the smaller bolt and the bottom slot, the top slotted, and then shaved down on the back of the spindle that's up here. And then with the camber plate fully maxed out, it still wasn't enough. So, but now I got the tie rod to fit and I'm on the second hole. And you can see, you can see little tilties. Let me put the wheel on so you can kind of see. I can definitely tell that there's more camber than what I had before. And you can kind of see with the back on there as well. I would say now it's about even for the most part, 12 and 12. I think when I put it on the last bolt, it was probably about almost negative 16 or so. But I think honestly with it being on the second, looking straight down from here to like the rear, kind of hard to tell on camera but it looks like for the most part it's pretty much even now I would say 12 and 12 which is nice uh, I'm not gonna film the other half just because the other side it's unnecessary just to show it again but you can see the stock with no extension and then to the one with it Also, you can see too, my bag was rubbing up on the top of the strut tower, which is kind of hard to see. But with this extension on, it pulls the wheel out and pulls the suspension out a little bit further. So then you have more clearance up top. It looks like now it's pretty much matching. It's probably about 12 and 12 all the way around, which is nice, exactly what I wanted. So now I don't really have to adjust the back for camber even more. But I got plenty of other things to do too. You can see fenders in there. Engine based stuff is going to be going on, but I'll film all that later down the road. Hopefully I keep up with everything because I started losing motivation with the car. So hopefully if I don't lose motivation again, I'll probably end up posting a lot more videos and a lot of things throughout this year. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put my Instagram down in the description so you can see photos of my car if you wanted to follow me or whatever. But peace out.